everybody what's up it's Kiki and welcome back for another video if you're not already subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and become part of the Kiki squad today I'm coming at you guys with a first impression of some of the things that I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale and also my thoughts on the stuff that I picked up from the sale if I liked it if it was worth keeping if I should return it so if you guys want to see how I got this look and my thoughts on some of my new makeup items keep watching so to start with my face I'm going to prime my face using Mikko Magnesia I've already moisturized and cleansed and did a mask and all that so and make sure I get an increases on my nose because that's where I get oily at. So during the sale I also picked up two Becca uh, primers. These are like the deluxe sample size or like a mini size of them. And I got the first light priming filter and the backlight priming filter. And it says first light priming filter brightens and evens out the appearance imperfections by softly scattering translucent cool violet light. It hydrates and revives the skin with mineral rich spring water, prickly pear flower, and sodium hyaluronic. And then this one is the backlight priming filter. And it says backlight priming filter features a vitamin E infused formula that minimizes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and creating a diffused radiant glow. So I'm going to go with the purple one. I remember the Huda Beauty foundation is supposed to have a primer in it. So this is my first time opening it. So yep, it has a primer in it. Ooh, mm -mm. that is definitely really, really red. We're going to talk about that in a minute. And the primer that comes with it is the Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base Primer. And it says a hydrating makeup base that creates a smooth canvas while gripping makeup and moisturizing the skin. So I'm going to use this instead of the Becca one today. Looks like a white cream. And this kind of reminds me of the Bobbi Brown face base. Just from touch and looking. It has a smell to it. Like public bathroom air freshener. Like old lady-ish. Not a fan of the smell, but kind of thick. Kind of hard to blend in. Feels kind of greasy. It says that the complexion perfection can also be used as a lightweight moisturizer to leave the skin soft and nourished without feeling oily. So the shade I have in the foundation is 510. I wanted shade 500. I thought 500 would be a match for me, but they were sold out. And 510 was practically the only dark color they had available at the time when I purchased this. I got 510 just to see how the foundation wears, how it looks. And I thought maybe 510 would be just a little bit deeper. So it'll give me like a bronze look, but... Looking at it in the bottle, I think it's going to be too dark and too red, but we'll see how that looks when I put it on. Um, it says that it is for all skin types, it's normal, dry, combination, and oily. It says a full coverage cream that can visibly conceal blemishes and perfections for a filter-like finish. So I'm just going to shake it up very, very well. It's a plastic container, and then it does have a pump, which is great. And I'm just going to put some comes out. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. that's way too dark. And they're still sold out of the 500 and it's not available in any of my surrounding Sephora. So, hmm, we're going to work with it, see what we can do. Coco 510R, light rich skin tones with red undertone. Um, Definitely not me. The one that I think I needed was uh, Mocha 500G, which is light rich skin tones with golden undertones. So that's the one I think I needed, but like I said, it wasn't available. Okay, and this also has a scent. Just me sitting here, I can smell the scent coming up to my nose. So, I don't know how I'm going to like this on my face. I'm going to use a MAC 109 brush because all my other brushes are dirty. Definitely too dark, too red. Oh, yeah. Mm. But it's definitely full coverage. It's like paint. I hate the scent of this. Now, this smells like grandma perfume. And it's getting darker as it sit on my hand. Look at my face to my neck. Oh my God. It's so dark. We all can agree this is not my shade. That gotta go back. Go on ahead and put that back in the box. So I'm gonna do my eyes. I'm gonna use one of the Huda Beauty palettes. I think I'm gonna use the smoky one. I thought I really was gonna enjoy this shade right here, but it looks great on my hand. So I know it's gonna look great on my eyes. So I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna use the warm. I changed my mind. Because this was the palette that had the most like Mixed reviews with the warm, so I'm gonna see if I like this because this is what I would normally gravitate gravitate towards. So the smell of the foundation is just so strong, I can't I can't take it. I hate it. <laughs> put this all over my lid. This color right here, and go right up under that. Seems like it's blending okay. 
this shade. So right up under that orangey color. It's not as pigmented as it swatches. I guess that's what a lot of people complaints were. I mean, it's fine, but it's just not as pigmented as the swatches. I'm cool with that, but... I mean, I'm cool with the colors that it has, but they're just not as pigmented. And that might be fine for me because, you know, I'm not a pro at doing eyeshadow, so... A little small tapered brush and go into this deep color. Let me put that in my outer V. I'm try Halo Eye. Hey, what the heck? I can't get it to build up on the outside like it is on the center. I'm going to take this color and put it in my brow bone. I'm going to use one of the Stila Shimmer and Glow liquid eyeshadows that I got in the set and this one in the color twig oh that's pretty I'm liking that look mm. so I'm gonna go and do my eyeliner my mascara and my lashes and then I'll come back because I don't have nothing new so now I'm gonna use try out this Becca under eye brightening corrector and it says a corrector that instantly brightens the under eye. It's like a peachy pearlescent color. I thought it was like matte but it's not matte. It's more like a pearlescent color so. Oh yeah. It's brighter but is it going to look ashy is the question. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep trying it. Maybe it's not for us. Our skin tone. Maybe it's for like fair skinned people to wear when they're not wearing makeup and it brightens up their under eyes. I don't know. But for me. Uh -uh. Where's my concealer? Now I was going to try out this. Um, Kevin Aquan Central, Central Skin Enhancer. I got it in the shade SX11. But it's like too bright. Still haven't tried it. But I'm going with Old Faithful today. And that is Tarte Shape Tape in the color Deep. Mm, this thing getting low. I don't remember the last time I emptied a concealer maybe i should have used that concealer because i'm gonna need to brighten this dark foundation up i don't put a lot of concealer on my forehead to brighten it because my forehead already big so i don't want to make it too big too big so i'm gonna put a little bit i think i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of it see it's like really bright as you can see on my lip it's pretty bright and i'm gonna use my pro beauty blender to blend this all in Look, wherever I put that um, Kevin Aquan concealer, it's like hard to blend. I knew I didn't want to use it. I put a little bit, and look how pigmented that stuff is. It is so pigmented. Oh my God. Should have left it how it was without the damn Kevin Aquan. So bright now. I'm going to have to tone that down. I'm going to set with Sasha Buttercup. Y'all know I'm not a fan of this, but I don't got nothing else right now. And I'm going to contour my nose using the LA Girl Pro Conceal and bronzing powder. And then I'll be back with the rest. So for my highlighter today, I'm going to use the um, new MAC Heat Wave that I just got. And I'm going to take my Anastasia Anastasia A23 brush. I don't want to mess up the beautiful pattern. Oh, it's deep and it's embossed. Ooh, that's pretty. And I only did a little bit. Now I'm going to take this little brush and just intensify it a little bit. Do you like that? Do you like that? take my 214 brush and go in the dark color and run this underneath my waterline or my lash line urban decay 24 hour perversion pencil that needs to be sharpened okay so i done you know fix my hair up and it's been a little minute since I recorded the beginning of this. So hopefully 
I don't look too oily. But it's been a minute since I recorded the beginning of this because I wanted to do the hair video too. So the first lip I'm going to put on is the Marc Jacob um, lip gloss that I have. The High Shine Lip Gloss in Skin Deep with a NYX lip pencil in Cola. This is like one of my favorite NYX lip pencils. This one never in prune. They are really, really smooth when they go on too. I love this gloss. Love it, love it, love it, love this gloss. And I'm gonna finally try out this um, Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored. I haven't even swatched it yet because I called Sephora to find out if they had any. They said they had one. Told them to hold it and then I just went and purchased it. Didn't even swatch it, so. Let's have a look. Really, really red. So I'm going to line my lips with Rooch from Colourpop from the Karuchi line. Hey, I'm using Karuchi and Rihanna. Just figured it out. In one of my last videos, I used Kylie and Black China. So it's only fitting to use Rihanna and Karuchi, right? Don't have a scent. Ooh, it's very, very liquidy. Like, I feel like if I pour, tip this over, it would all pour out. That's how liquidy it feels on first application. I feel like this would make a mess if you're not careful. Very, very liquidy and slippery. Like, it's all in the corner of my mouth and stuff. Like, it's all in my mouth. So this would be like all on your teeth and stuff. So you gotta be careful with this. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about this, Rihanna. It's like so slippery. I mean, but it did coat my lips in one with one application, but I'm just gonna go over it to make sure it's like fully coated. It's very, very pretty, but very, very liquidy and slippery. I tell you what, I did a lip plumper before I did this and I can definitely tell the difference in my lips. It feels very, very comfortable on the lips and like it's not, when I do that, put my lips together, I don't feel it pulling apart. It's not taking it off of my lips and it's very, very pigmented. For it to be so liquidy, it's very pigmented. It's not streaky at all. Like no matter how much I rub it, it's no streaks in it. So that's a good thing. I think it's dry, but I'm going to wait a little bit before I do like the kiss test. So Uncensored Stunner Lip Paint is at the top. Riri Woo is in the middle and Ruby Woo is on the end at the bottom. So I've had this on for a little minute. I'm just going to test and see if it's kiss proof. Mm. I've had this on for a minute. It still came off on my hand, but it's still on my lips too. So it says one stroke intensity. 12 hour matte wear it definitely is one stroke intensity because it's very pigmented and as soon as it goes on it's like full cover of your lips and then it says 12 hour matte wear so it does supposed to be matte and long wearing if i could say one thing about it it is the most comfortable liquid lipstick that i've ever had on one it feels like there's nothing on my lips so that is how all three of them look once it's dried down as you can see, the Stunner Lip Paint still has a little sheen to it. It's not completely matte. And then the other two, Ruby Woo and Ruby Woo. And because it's not completely matte, that's the only thing that makes this stand out different from the other two. But they're all pretty much the same color. So that's it for everything that I've tried today. So I'm pretty much liking everything that i tried out today. I love how my look is. The Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. It's nice. Like I said, wrong color. And I don't like the smell. But once I did my concealing and highlighting and all that stuff, I did think, I think... I think it's not too bad, right? doesn't look too bad now. I gave my opinion on the liquid lipstick. And as far as the eyeshadow palettes, they're fine for me. I don't have no problems with it. The one that I did use, which was the warm browns. And that was like the most controversial one. The one that had the most opinions. Either you liked it or you hated it. The Marc Jacobs lip glosses, love those. The Becca Under Eye um, Brightening Corrector, mm, I could do without that. Wasn't a must have for me. The Kevin Aquan Concealer is too bright too stiff too sticky too hard to blend out so i don't know if i'm going to keep that that's probably why i got rid of it the first time um but everything else seemed to be okay my makeup has been on for quite some time i'll actually have time stamps on here so you can see how long it's actually been since i started my makeup and now the primer was pretty good 
but I wouldn't go purchase it. Like, I don't need another primer. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give the video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you share videos, all that good stuff. I love you guys, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.